everybody welcome back so just another uh, gentle class as it is the evening nothing too strenuous we're just going to take it easy and just get a lovely beautiful a stretch for the body and some little bit more longer held poses again towards the end and just a short class so I hope you like it so uh, yeah another reminder just have your block and if you want to have a rolled up towel to prop yourself up in anything support you under your knee under your hips yeah just go and grab that or your bolster okay all right so pause the video if you need to and I'll meet you back here so let's begin we'll just start in a comfortable seated position so you can place your hands just together in front of you, fingers are interlaced, you can shut your eyes down, you can have your hands on your knees, whatever feels nice and comfortable for you. And let's just start with some lovely breathing. And just think about what sort of day you've had if you are doing this practice in the afternoon. Feel how your body is feeling. And we'll just start with some gentle movements while we're sitting up. So let's just place our hands together. You can keep your eyes closed if that feels good. Inhale the hands up, looking up. Bring the hands out to the side as you exhale. We'll do that a few more times. Inhale up. Exhale, coming out to the side and back in. Inhale up. Exhale, coming back down. Last one, inhale up. And this time hold and really extend your body. And then exhale, take that right hand down and just have that left hand come over for your gentle side stretch. Inhale, let's reach up again. You can look up at the thumbs and then exhale, take it over to the other side. Really Extending out through those top fingers and breathing deeply into that side of the body. And then on your next inhale, come up to centre. Exhale, just bring those hands down and take your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind, up on the fingertips. Let's just inhale to lengthen the body first and then as you exhale just take it to a gentle twist. Breathing here. Then inhale, just come back to centre. Take the left fingertips behind right hand on your left knee inhale to extend exhale take it to another gentle twist and once you've got to the point where you feel nice and comfortable just inhale and exhale there and inhale back to center Let's just do one more inhale up. Exhale, hands in front of the heart. Let's just stack our left shin in front of our right shin. So if you are sitting up on a little prop, just put it to the side. And let's have our shin sort of stacked in front of each other like fire logs placed in front of each other inhale up first 
exhale keep that lengthening in your spine as you fold down now if you need to get your block to rest your head on so you can just feel the stretch make sure both feet are flexed you should feel this in your outer hips and also lengthening and stretching the lower part of your back so using the block to rest your head just means you're um, not sort of using any muscles in your neck we're just concentrating on that hip area so you can have it on the top level or on the lower level i'm finding the top level is just right for me and as you hold here just try to extend those fingertips a little bit further forward on the exhales Now inhale, walk those fingertips up and we'll do the other side. So just taking the right chin in front this time, making sure the feet are flexed. Inhale up first and then keeping that length in your body, bring the fingertips down as you exhale. Take another inhale and then exhale, bring that forehead down. last inhale complete your exhalation then inhale walk those fingertips back up take the block off to the side let's just lean back have our feet hip width apart and just windscreen wiper those knees And I'm actually facing the side of the mat, but you are probably facing the top of your mat. But what we're going to do now is when your knees come over to the right, I want you to have actually alternate face the top of the mat, because that's how you probably are. So let's have our knee and our hip in front in line with each other and our foot flexed on the left side so i have my left shin going down the side of the mat and my right shin is parallel to the top of the mat so we're just going to open up the hips a different way we'll get a slight sort of compression here and open on the right side come up on your fingertips lengthen that body again walk the hands in front Inhale first, exhale, fold down. Inhale, come up, exhale, go down. One more, and then this time come down and just let your head rest on your forehead. You can stack your wrist, you can get your block. So, the same here. You can even hold that right foot sort of push into it to give you like a leverage so that you don't feel as though you're falling over onto the right side take one more inhalation Complete the exhalation. Then slowly come back up on your next inhalation. Just take the block to the bottom of your mat. Windscreen wiper and turn yourself all the way to the bottom of the mat. This time you have your left shin parallel to the bottom of the mat. And you have the right knee and hip in line with each other. Right foot is flat. So first come up. Now if you feel you are toppling over, 
don't forget you've got one side might feel a little bit different to the other you've got your towel or your block to sit up on I'm going to just prop myself up on this side because I just feel a little bit tilted on this side but inhale up first walk the fingertips in front inhale and then exhale we'll do three times of this rolling action last one the next time allow your body to come down and fold you can get the block to rest your forehead hold on to that foot just feel the difference from one side to the other. You don't have to hold on to your foot, you can just have your elbow in front. Just feel what feels good for you. You might find extending your body just that little bit further forward makes the, the posture feel a lot deeper. It does for me anyway. And inhale, bring yourself up, coming onto your hands and knees. So I'm actually going to stay this way, so whichever way you want to be, this is going to be my top of the mat. So just move your props off to the side. Let's just do a round of cat and cow, but in a different way. We're going to sort of like make circular motions with our hip, but we're going to try to keep our arms straight. So what I want you to do first is sort of lean the right hip up towards the right shoulder and then drop the belly. Now then take it over and lean the left hip towards the left shoulder and then round up as you come over and back to the right side. So you can start with some slow motions and just adjust your breathing to what feels good. And do both sides. Try to keep the elbows nice and straight. It's a different way of stretching our back. When you get to the top and your back is rounded, take it over the, to the left side and go the other way. One more round. And back to centre. Now just take your left foot over to the left side and face your right side of your mat and straighten that right leg. So this is modified plank pose. So inhale that right hand up to the ceiling. Holding here just for two breaths. And lift that right leg up and then on your exhale if you'd like to you can reach behind and extend the right foot into the right hand just getting a nice stretch all the way down that front quad and release stretch that hand up again and we're just going to use some money, use some strength in our obliques. We're going to come up into gate pose. So give yourself a little bit of a push as you come up. Slide the right hand down the side of the right leg. Reach the left hand up to the ceiling. And 
we're coming down onto the other side again, reaching up, and then exhale, windmill that hand all the way around to bring you back to tabletop. Let's just do a regular cat and cow in between. So inhale, drop the belly, look forward and gaze go slightly up for your cow. Exhale, round the spine, draw the belly up for your cat. Two more of these. All right, let's kick the right foot out to the side, straighten our left leg and reach our left hand up. Looking up, can you feel good with that? Holding here for two breaths. And on your next inhale, lift that left leg up, holding here. And then exhale, grab hold of that left foot and kick into it. And hold the ankle and flex the foot. Just feeling that stretch more so on the front side of that left leg. And release. Let's come back up to our modified plank. Push into the right hand to bring you up to your gate pose. So just check that your ankle is in line with your hip. Reaching over slightly. And exhale, coming back down to that modified plank. And then exhale, we kneel that hand over. Let's do the two rounds of cat and cow again. Inhale for your cow. Spin the chest forward. Exhale for your cat. One more round. I'm sorry about snoring Flynn, he just is always snoring and it just means he's beautiful and content so he's such a funny thing. Okay let's go into our puppy pose, so keep your knee and your hip in line with, with each other, actually if you want to come back down the mat a little bit so you've got a little bit of room, I'm going to walk our hands towards the top of the mat and then bring our forehead down chin down and just allow a nice stretch across the front of your chest so holding here for three more breaths One more breath in this beautiful pose. And walking the hands up slightly, keep a little bit of a gap. We're just going to come in to thread the needle. So inhale the hand up, exhale, bring that right hand underneath the left and bring the right ear down. Now you can reach the fingertips really far forward and lean more over onto the right side, the right shoulder if you want to get more of a twist action, or you can leave your hand near your face. Bringing your left hand near your face, 
push into that left hand and re-extend the right hand up. Exhale, bring it down. Let's go the other side. So inhale the left hand up. Exhale, coming down. Bringing that ear down. Now either leave your hand near your face or if you want to get a bit of twist action, walk those fingertips. Come up on the fingertips like tent your fingers and push into that left shoulder. So you'll feel more of a twisting action, only slightly. It's not a deep twist. And about three breaths here. As Lily's woken up now, decided to bark at the neighbours. Okay, bring that right hand near your hat face, push into it, re extend the left. And then come no. down. Okay, as we're on our knees, we're going to go into camel. So with camel, you can use your block with this. If you have got two blocks, you can put two blocks either side. Or you can just have one block in between and you lean back towards that. But I'll talk you through it. So let's put our hands on the lower part of our back. Just like you've got two back pockets and um, I want you to inhale and extend the spine first, exhale, just push the hips out. So you're sort of like pushing those hips out, creating a little bit of a back bend. Now if this is enough for you, just stay here. You're still getting a back bend. If you want to try reaching back towards your block, you just take the fingertips down, maintain that tilt in the pelvis, and squeeze your glutes together. Another way of doing this is by just tucking the toes, taking the, hip, the hips forward, bringing the pelvis up, and reaching down for your heels. Now the head can come back or it can just stay forward. I'm just leaving mine forward because it just is too much on my neck to look back. Holding here, trying to keep the hips and the knees still in line. Now, if you can't breathe, it means you've gone too far. So just come out of it. And to come out of it, just take those hands back on the lower part of the back, lean forward, and then just come up. And then we'll just come, remove the block. Keep your heels tucked. We're gonna come down and do rabbit, which is just folding forward and bringing the top of our head to the mat and then we hold on to our heels. So inhale and then exhale, bring that top of the head down and just grab hold of the heels and feel that stretch in the lower back. fingertips to the mat, come up nice and slow, grab your rolled up towel, just place it in the middle, we're just going to make it into a nice tight bowl, ball, <laughs> we're just going to do that lovely pigeon where we've got this rested under our sit bones, so bring your hands in front of the towel, lift the knees up, Right knee goes towards right wrist and just positioning that towel underneath the hip points. 
Inhale first to extend if you want it to stay here. You can stay here. This actually feels really, really nice. In fact, I think we'll just stay here today. We're not going to fold down. I just really like the extension that I get from my lower hole of my back. So hold here. You can stay here. Or you can walk the hands over and just have a little bit of a twist. So inhale onto the right side. Exhale back to centre and walk the hands over to the left. Inhale to extend. Exhale back to centre. Lift yourself up. Come back into your tabletop. Just one round of cat and cow. So drop in for your cow. Looking up and bring that chest forward. Exhale for your cat. Bring the belly in. Alright, now left knee, walk the hands just a little bit further up. Left knee to left near the left wrist. Extend that right leg back. You might need to move the rolled up towel. So it's underneath those sit bones. Once you've got it in the right spot, inhale and extend yourself up. Why I like this is I'm feeling a beautiful opening on that outer hip flexor. While getting just a slight back bend. Nothing too much. Now this time, inhale, walk the hands over to the left first. Exhale, back to centre. Inhale, over to the right. And exhale, back to centre. Let's push into our hands and just come into an easy child's pose, a gentle child's pose. So different to our wide-legged active child's pose, we bring our hands behind and just bringing ourselves down into like a nice little ball. We can rock side to side. And then slowly come up. Either sitting on the edge of your, blank, your ta tail or um, on the edge of your block. I'm just going to finish with a little meditation. So we're going to do alternate nostril breathing. So we use our two fingers, our pointer and our taw, placed in between that space that is in between the eyebrows, the third eye. And we close off the right nostril as, and we're going to use, so you use your thumb to close off the right nostril and your ring finger will close off the left nostril. So we're starting, we're closing off the right nostril and we're going to take an inhale through the left. Now close the left with your ring finger and exhale through the right. Now inhale through the right, close off the right and exhale through the left. That's one cycle. Let's do another cycle together. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right, closing the left. Inhale through the right. Close off the right with your thumb and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Close off the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close off the right and exhale through the left. 
Now do three more cycles on your own. And when you're finishing up, finish with exhaling through the left. Whether, wherever you are, take one more cycle. And finish exhaling through the left. And when you've completed the last cycle, just bring your hand down to you, your right knee. Just feel how you're feeling. And then just take your hands in front of your heart. Take your thumbs up to your third eye. Take an inhale and then bow forward, closing with Namaste. Thank you everybody. So just a gentle practice, another beautiful gentle practice. I've really been enjoying um, these lovely afternoon classes that I've been bringing to you and I hope you've been enjoying them too. So until next time, namaste.